Hola, bienvenidos otra vez. Hello, welcome to the last in this series, 24, audio number 24 in the series of vocab building for uh, Victor's Adventures in Spain, the book. Now, after we finish this one, we're going to move on to building verbs, okay? So we've got a number of um, audio programs to help you build up your verbs because what I discovered when I did this, I did a program like this, like learn 2,000 words in a weekend or something like that. And um, what I discovered was after I had 2,000 words or whatever it was, a thousand, I don't know how many I managed to remember, I had absolutely no idea what to do with them. I didn't, I couldn't do anything with them. You can't go around the street just saying things like um, cow, cat, dog, shop, man. Is it, what's the point of that? You, you don't speak language like that. You need verbs to be able to string all of these um, nouns and these adjectives together. Okay, so that's what I'm going to give you in the next series. So we're going to finish this one off. Okay, so let's roll. Are you ready? First word to remember is holidays. Now, this is nice and easy to remember, but it's a little bit tricky for pronunciation. Okay, so holidays is vacaciones. Okay, vacaciones, or for those without the accent, vacaciones, vacaciones. So it's virtually the same as vacations. It's just you've got the word on. Okay, so just remember that I'm on my vacations. Vacaciones, vacaciones. Okay, excellent. Next one. Journey, a journey, okay, is viaje. Viaje. Okay, so it starts with the word via or via. Okay, so imagine that you're going on a journey via, I don't know, via the north. Okay, viaje. Okay, so via starts with via, but it's via, viaje. Okay. Next one, the word for okay, fine, thanks. Okay, now this is not I am okay. This is not I am okay, is estoy bien. Okay. Estoy bien. But this one is like, okay, yeah, no problem, fine. And that is vale. Vale. Okay? You hear me say it a lot. I use it a lot. Everybody does, and certainly in Spain. Okay, so how are you going to remember it is, okay, I'm off to the vale. I'm off to see the body dancers, okay? Okay, I'm off to the vale. So, that's how I remember it. Vale. And you use it like this. Somebody says, uh, ¿Quieres ir a tomar un café? Vale. Do you want to have a coffee? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Next one. Summer. Summer is verano. Verano. Okay. Now, for anybody who knows, well, we've got the word bear. So, let's roll with that, okay? So, it starts with bear. Verano. Okay. And... For anybody who knows the word ano, it's very close to bottom. Okay, very close to bottom. So, in the summer, you can walk around with a bare ano if you want. Okay, a bare bum. Okay, bare ano. Ano is actually anus. All right. So, um, a bare bottom in the summer. Bare ano. Excellent. Next one, the truth. This is another word that starts with ver, okay? The truth is verdad. Verdad. Now notice that you don't say verdad, okay? The Spanish don't pronounce the last D. Either they'll say verdad with a th, verdad, or they'll say nothing, like they'll leave it hanging, like verdad, okay? So, how are you going to remember the truth? Well, the truth is that my dad is a bear. He's a bear dad. Okay, that's the truth. That's the truth of the matter. We all have to face up to the truth. He's a bear dad. Okay, better that. My dad is a bear. Okay, 
Then we've got time, okay? Like, and what I mean by that is like one time, two times, three times, which is once, twice, three times, okay? So that kind of time. And that word is Beth. Beth, okay? Now, how you remember that? Well, some people are called Beth, okay, in English, B-E-T-H. So you could say, uh, I certainly, it's true, one time I knew a girl called Beth, one time, okay, only one time. Okay, so Beth, one time. Then we've got uh, the word for turn, okay, a turn. And it's also a word that Spanish people use to, to have a, a stroll, to go round. It's this motion, it's this motion, right? Okay, and it's, uh, the word is vuelta. Vuelta. Okay, and how are you going to remember that is it sounds like belt, doesn't it? And basically, that's what happens with your belt as well. It does a turn around your waist, doesn't it? Vuelta, belt. Okay, vuelta. You'll hear things like um, uh, if you want a steak that's rare, okay, cooked rare, then you ask for it, vuelta y vuelta. Okay, because it's a turn, shh, a turn, shh, and then on your plate. And a good vet could probably revive it. So, vuelta. Or, this, you'll hear Spanish uh, speakers saying, vamos a dar una vuelta. Vamos a dar una vuelta. We're going to go and have a turn around the block. We're going to have a walk around the block. Yeah? Okay, vuelta. Then we've got flight, which is vuelo. Vuelo. So sounds like yellow. So I would like you to imagine a big yellow Virgin airline plane. All right, with a big V for Virgin. So you've got yellow and a V, which is vuelo. Okay, which is flight, vuelo. And then the last one, way Z. And this word is area. And it's, it's virtually the same word as we have. The area that we live in, or an area of town, and they tend to use the word zona. Or zona. Zona, okay? Or zona. So, it's just like pointing out a zone, really. It's, you know, this is my zone. This is your zone. This is the zone uh, that we live in. Zona. Zona, okay? Um, and that's it. So, let's check you out, okay? Let's see what you've remembered. Um, all of it, I think. Next one, I'm going to give you the, the Spanish word, you give me the English word. Ready? Vacaciones. Vacaciones. Easy, I'm on my vacations, holidays or vacations. Next word, viaje. Viaje. So, via, vaya, I'm traveling via the north. Next one. Vale. Vale. Okay, I'm off to the vale. Yeah, vale. Excellent. And then we've got verano. Be ano. Bare bottomed? When can you go bare bottomed? In the summer. Verano. Okay. And then we've got verdad. Verdad. My dad is a bear. That's the truth. That's the truth. It is the truth. He really, he really is a bear. Okay. That's why I have a lot of hair. Now, next one. Beth. Beth, okay? One time I knew a girl called Beth, so time as in sequence of this one, then this one, then this one, Beth. Or Bess. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we've got Vuelta. Vuelta, what was Vuelta? 
viaje. Vuelta y vuelta, turn, a turn. It can also mean a stroll around, okay? Vuelta. And then we've got vuelo. Vuelo, something yellow with a big V, what is it? It's a flight. Vuelo, vuelo. And then the last one, zona or zona. Zona, area or zone, I suppose, really. But area, if you want to talk about the area that you live in. Zona. Muy bien, chicos, enhorabuena. Felicidades. We've arrived at the end, but it's not over yet because you need your verbs. So we're going to move on and that will be audio and video number 25. So well done. What I would suggest that you do is review these videos a number of times, particularly the ones that you found, oh, I can't quite remember those. You only need to do this two or three times and you'll have it. If you've got the book, then all you need to do is just run down the list it's, it doesn't take a second, it takes, in fact, all you've got to do is run down the list. What, how am I going to remember this? What is the little image that I've got in my head? Bang. And then really quickly you're going to have all of these words. How valuable is it? Well, it's invaluable. It's all about communicating. It's all about being able to communicate yourself and also to be able to understand what people are saying. Okay? If you can capture the idea of the sentence, if you can really capture what people are saying, capture 75% of what they're saying, you have the understanding. In our own mother tongue, we do not understand everything that everybody's saying. Bizarrely enough, we don't hear everything that everybody's saying. We only hear a percentage. We hear the important bits that help us understand what that person's saying, okay? You can test it out. Ask somebody, say, can you repeat just what I've said now? and they will make an attempt at repeating what you've just said, but they can't repeat it word for word, they don't know. They can only give you the idea. And that's what it's about when you're listening in Spanish. It's capturing the idea. The more words you've got, the better the idea becomes. Okay, and obviously the more verbs that you understand, the far better it becomes. Because when you understand verbs, you understand the actions, and then it all becomes clear. Entonces, nos vemos en el próximo. Hasta luego, chicos. Adios. Thank mm -hmm. you.